I don't know about you, but have you ever sat there and wondered like your favorite band or just some of the biggest bands in the world when they have got to that point where they were up and coming and they finally get a sense of accomplishment by maybe playing out a show where they actually made some money or releasing a demo that people actually bought. There's so many different things they could possibly do. But have you ever wondered how that felt? Well, <laughs> I kind of got an idea and we're going to talk about that today. Going on everybody welcome back music lovers especially my rock music lovers usually in most of my videos at least recently this is the point where i would ask you if you're not subscribed to the channel to subscribe even though i kind of just did right there in a innuendo kind of way i'm not going to do that i'm going to go a little bit out of the norm because this video is a little different like i said our favorite bands because this is a rock talk channel we talk rock this is for the rock community and you kind of ever wondered at least i have when a band is just up and coming, let's just throw Aerosmith out there for example. They're huge, one of the biggest rock bands in history. But if you think about it, when they were up and coming, nobody knew who they were. What was it where they started to realize, hey, you know, our hard work might actually get us somewhere because something small happened. Maybe it was, like I said, they played their first show and they actually got paid for it. Or they created that demo that they created, recorded everything themselves went and sold it on the street or however, and they got money for it. That had to feel good. For me, I have been doing this channel for less than a year now, and I'm not Mr. Beast. I haven't blown up out of nowhere, which there's a lot of them, great channels out there that have started it and just exploded rather quickly. Rock Talk with Mike, our channel, it ain't exploded like that, but I feel like in less than a year, a lot of hard work, I got that first piece of accomplishment that makes me realize and it kind of validates to myself that this is the right thing. Those of you that have watched any of my videos, commented on any of my videos, I appreciate you. Matter of fact, I just want to read something because about a couple hours ago, I reached my thousandth subscriber. That is the last criteria I needed to be monetized by YouTube. And in return, if I keep doing a good job, create my audience and grow it, there's a revenue possibility and money could come my way. And there's no greater feeling than if you're doing something you love. Times, it's hard work. There's a lot of work because I didn't know how to edit videos. Didn't know how to do any of the stuff I'm doing right now. I just knew I loved rock music and I wanted to do YouTube. In fact, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I love sports. I love rock music. There's things that I love that it just seems carefree and easy seamless to talk about i dabbled around with a few different things and some of my videos i unlisted them because i it didn't really go with the trend of what we're doing on this channel some of them i've put back up just so people could go back and look and say wow that was different from what he's doing now and to kind of see how i talked how i acted it's way different i've gotten so much more comfortable and what's helped me is you the audience i love getting those comments and, and like i said the thousandth subscriber Earlier when I got that, I was checking, I was one away from a thousand, and then I looked back and I hit it, and I got a comment from that viewer, and I, I'm sorry if I say this wrong, but I already told you in a comment that I'm going to keep you in my mind, I already got your name saved in my phone, it was at Speci Limon, Limone, Speci Limone, and at Speci Limone 3684, so I'm probably saying that wrong, but it was a cool comment. Excellent video. I'm really proud to have just become your thousandth subscriber. That's so cool to me. And this has got to be my first real sense of accomplishment. The first comment I got from a viewer, it was huge. It boosted me. The first time I got a negative comment, that boosted me because you cannot be liked by everybody, but... Anytime I get a negative comment, doesn't bother me one bit. Sometimes when it does kind of, you know, rev me up a little bit, I have to tell myself, relax. Not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to love you. And you just got to get used to that. But most of the time, I get amazing comments from all of you out there. And I appreciate every single one of you because this, this is the most, this is such a great feeling. And I know I got a long way to go. I, I have big goals and dreams for this channel. And those of you that are there with me, 
pretty much since the beginning. And those of you that are coming on board right now, I appreciate you more than you know, every one of you. And a matter of fact, I'd like to issue a, uh, well, I guess I'll say kind of a challenge to anybody out there. I've been working on a logo, Brock Talk with Mike logo that I like to put on merchandise, shirts, hoodies, hats, cups. If any of you viewers out there can come up with an awesome logo, one, I will use it. Two, I will make sure I take care of you and we can probably discuss that separately. How? But I would love that. If you can come up with a badass logo, please send it to me. I will absolutely consider it. And if I pick you, we'll have another conversation. But man, I really don't know what to say. I'm kind of winging it. I do have a video that I'm editing right now. Um, I'm not going to say what it's about because I want it to be a surprise. But it's the happiest day so far in my YouTube journey. I appreciate you all so much. You have no idea. The things that I'm learning along the way are amazing. And hopefully there'll be friendships along the way. Hopefully there will be opportunities that I can create for other people along the way. Because I believe there's no better feeling than doing something you love every day and eventually getting rewarded for it. And if it can be turned in return become your livelihood, your, your, your sense of being, just who you are. And it's also taking care of your everyday needs in life. What the hell else better feeling could there possibly be? But anyway, I'm going to end it right here. I probably spoke, I probably rambled over myself, spoke too much, but I'm excited and I appreciate every one of you very, very much. You have no idea. Please keep coming back. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Till next time, go out there. Take care of your friends, your family. Do something amazing. Go out there, do something you love so you can get that sense of accomplishment. No better feeling in the world. Till next time, take care of yourself. I'm out.